The new FPV drone is here. I gotta go down to the bottom of the property and get it. The driveway is a slippery mud hole. Gotta be sure not to freaking go off the edge. That would not be good. There's my little tiny farmhouse. We're excited to start building the big one up top. Gotta wait for this stinking weather to break. Oh, there it is, guys. Down on my little delivery table. Ooh, look at all this treasure. I gotta drive a Raptor. You gotta have four wheel drive to make it off my driveway. Two wheel drive is not gonna cut it in this situation. It's straight up the side of the mountain, guys. Now you can see why it's impossible to keep my truck clean. The driveway is a complete mud hole. John with the Pro Cut. I'm here with Donovan and we're about to do a little unboxing. Got the treasures from Amazon and uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. Can't wait to see. So, open up the trusty buck knife and get to ripping. Oh, the first thing what we got here. This is neat for me. Lemon juice powder. This is uh, Mrs. Pro Cuts. I'm not sure what's going on there, but hey, I'm opening it, man. You can't stop me. Next box, what do we got here? Watch your face there, Donovan. Watch your face, buddy. What do we got here? All right. GN3 Power Lipos. Got the extra batteries for what's going on in this other box. Six little 1S LiPos. Oh, what could these be for? Oh, nice. Comes with stickers too. Cool. Let's see. What do we got here? RC Geek. We got... This is the new cable extension from my Mavic Mini so I can run a tablet or run my phone up on something else I've ordered that we don't have here yet. Maybe it's in this box. Let's let's see what we got here. Whew, this is the one I'm most excited about, guys. The Emax Tiny Hawk FPV ready to fly kit. It's got the goggles, the controller, everything. And I cannot wait to fly this. You FPV guys make it look so awesome. Shout out to Ray's FPV, Joshua Bardwell, and all you other FPV guys, man. Thanks for all the great videos and shares. Let's dig into this thing and check it out. All right, let's get this shrink wrap off of here. So it all comes in a nice rigid case. Got the carbon fiber look, which is really cool. Donovan seems super interested. Then you open her up. And you've got your radio. got your FPV goggles, 
this is an all-in-one package, guys, for, for anybody that's a beginner like me that wants to check out this FPV stuff. $165 for the full setup on Amazon. And then gave another 30 bucks for six extra batteries, because, you know, let's face it, one battery is not enough. Comes with extra propellers. Got a power pack for the goggles. Got an extra power plug, some little screws, a tiny screwdriver. Six battery charger, balancer. Got the USB charge cable. Plenty of extra slots around here to put your extra batteries in and here you have it the Emacs Tiny Hawk with one battery installed already so we're gonna charge this thing up and take her for a little rip around my tiny house that ought to be interesting stay tuned you won't be pissed got our six batteries on the charger now get them juiced up so we can take this Tiny Hawk for a quick rip Guys, I'm excited to fly this. Okay, guys, so we've got the Tiny Hawk all charged up. And to run it, you're going to have your throttle all the way down. Both your switches on the top all the way down. Down is easy, center is intermediate, up is advanced. And on this side, your arm is in the center. And I figured out that you got to let it beep a few times. And then when you flip it up, the blades spin up and you're ready to fly. And it is not near as easy as you FPV guys make it look. Of course, it doesn't, it doesn't help that I'm only trying to fly this thing in 300 square feet. So I'll goof around with it for a little bit, but... I'm going to need a bigger place to fly, fellas. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. I tell you what, these FPV guys make this look a lot easier than what it is. took the remote out on that one. I think I've got some trim adjustments that need to be made. wanting to go to the right I suppose I'm trying to trim it properly I don't know this is my first one y'all can help me out in the comments with any tips except for a simulator I don't have any of that stuff and I'm really not down with it and I just want to fly this thing like y'all do I think a little bit more space would be the best thing for me, but you know, it's raining outside and uh, a 300 square foot tiny house is what I have to deal with. Ooh, I 
I think I just about got her trimmed out. I need a little bit more on this trim. battery a little bit more centered maybe that'll help and when a thing gets stuck against something it just locks on like it's gonna fly through a cardboard box I don't think so, Tiny Hawk. I'm starting to get the trim figured out now that was the best flight yet so it's just gonna take a little bit of time man but uh you guys keep giving me your tips and helping out and I'm gonna keep on flying and having a good time so until next time do something today that's gonna make tomorrow better and keep on flying